Yeah. It ain't small either. I was not expecting that, dude. I wasn't expecting that. That was awesome. So we were going to Grand Isle, Louisiana, before we're heading. And we're going down there for a little fishing trip. Hopefully it'll be fun. We uh, got a little camp down there with uh, two other two other friends. And yeah, we got the poles, the, the, the reels, the tackle. We're gonna be using a lot of live shrimp, so we're gonna buy some shrimp when we get down there. But uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna be basically fishing for anything that'll bite. Yeah, right now we're going over Lake Pontchartrain, so we're halfway there, roughly. So, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when we get there. We have internet. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, this yeah, is this Godfather. Uh, oh, my. You know what? I would put it in C tier because this one's all the main character is Oh, dude, that's such a long drive. It's a lot longer than you think it is. Wow, I hate this. This is a room. Dang, we do got a big fan in here. Nice. Stove and stuff. <laughs> What do you mean? Daddy's like, stove. Have a stove. I didn't say there wasn't a stove. Or a fridge. That's a fridge and a stove. You said there wasn't one. I didn't say that. You said no, just your cooler. Yeah, because we're going to need a bigger cooler. And like, I was thinking like, there wasn't like a, I went, None of them is a fridge no, or a stove. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jeez, like, it is cold in here. It's cold. Oh, they like Dobbs, $12 Tony's Pizza. He got it. How you doing, there, Amanda? Amanda? Cold. That is the cold. best Tony's Pizza and you know damn well it was. He paid twelve dollars for Tony's pizza. Oh <laughs> God! The bar. Y'all went to the bar? Yeah. We've been a lot of places today. To the bar, which is a cool bar. Sink. Got a little bathroom. Oh, shower. I need a shower. I don't have one yet. Wow, really nice pink don't shower shut in here. The door. Don't shut that door. Yeah. Well, I sure someone's in this room if you shut it. Upstairs. All right. Yeah, the door is broke, so if you shut it, someone out of the car will get you out. That's why it's been, uh, that's why somebody gave it the old knock See, so, here's the other room. It's honestly bigger than I thought it was going to be. Really? Yeah. I was thinking, like, even smaller than this. Because I'm pretty sure when we first talked about it, y'all said, like, Somebody told me there wasn't a stove or something or it's an like oven. The size of our old house. Or a microwave, which I don't think is a microwave. Yeah, there's like a microwave. And a coffee pot. We just said you wouldn't. This Everybody's the same. Oh, they said the same one? We stayed the ones over there that the fucking hurricane destroyed. Ah, gotcha. They are smaller. Gotcha. This is. Well, we made it, so. This is bigger. Hold on. I got some more stuff we gotta go get. All right, we made it here. I gotta go and load the rest of the stuff. So we'll see you guys later. I'll put you on the bottom. Oh yeah, a little bit. Can't just leave them sore for too much. I think it's gonna be too much. Nice one. Nice. That's one I got Justin to buy me last year. Where's that catfish? Oh, my bad. I didn't have time to tighten it up. Can somebody come? Tighten it up for me. I guess he's good to grab, huh? Dawes, what is that? Croaker? Oh, I see a croaker now. Well, 
don't know what it is, but we got one. That's what Ashley caught last time. Oh, you hooked him in the side. Look at that. We're gonna grab him. Alright, we got it. Well, a better place to get hooked. Alright, bye bye. I think he got his eye. He, he's missing an eye. Uh, his eye's already gone. The opposite of the couple of salt. Go ahead. Yeah. It ain't small either. Justin, just put him up in there, Dobbs, in the in the net. No, 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 lower. Lower? Yeah, no, I just saw it pulling on it. What the hell? I was not expecting that, dude. I wasn't expecting that either. That was awesome. <laughs> I wish we could have got the hook out, though. You know what I mean? But he was, you saw it, dude. It was way too deep. There was no way we were getting that hook out. You saw it too, didn't you? Yeah. See, I, don't, I don't know if you got it on camera good or not, it. but. I mean, I got, you know, I didn't want to get too close to it. I'm wearing flip flops. All right, well, so far I've caught it. I don't know what it was. And it's some kind of stingray. So that's cool. I hope it makes it though. Hope it don't die from that hook. You know what I mean? I didn't know what else to do though, dude. I've never, I've never handled one though. No, I mean, it is what it is. Didn't catch, man. I can't believe you caught it. Wow. I'm in shock right now, to be honest. A little bit. Yeah! <laughs> whoa, 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 the man! I just wish we could have got the hook out. Kind of, kind of feel bad about not getting the hook out. You saw how deep it was. If, if, you, get, if you get touched fish, on it, you, just, you don't know what you're going to catch. That's why it just cuts you. That bacteria gets in your, yeah. in your skin. Yeah, this trip's done. That's what I said. It's, it's done. Stingray's done. Stingray's done. What, man? The man, well, he's cool. already tearing it up. We ain't caught nothing. This guy's over yeah, here just... thing right and some other kind of fish. I don't know what it was. He's been baiting Look, we more don't hooks know what, all night, and he's been catching more fish. I don't know what kind of fish. This wind's probably killing the mic, but I don't know what kind of fish that other one was because I'm not saltwater fishing. It's like the second time I went saltwater fishing, or third. So. But it's been fun. Yeah. All right, so uh, we just woke up a little while ago, and we had a uh, so first night of fishing. wasn't bad, huh? So first night of fishing, we caught Stingray. I caught something else, and anybody else catch anything? Oyster Amanda fish. caught, yeah. yeah. I caught Amanda. a monster fish. It's not called a monster fish. It's mm -hmm. called an oyster fish. It looked like a monster fish to me. It does and it almost like hit me in the head. <laughs> well, that's because you slung it up so fast that it just, you almost hit yourself in the head with the fish. But yeah, we just got up a little while ago, eating some breakfast, drinking some coffee, and right now it's raining, so or it's sprinkling right now. It's been raining down here this morning. So we'll see how much fishing we get to get done. And hopefully we get to catch some and do some more fishing and, and get some more uh, fish caught so we can 
put together a decent video. We need a decent meal. Yeah, we got breakfast and our little. We're in the house kitchen. He went across the room. Uh, this one right here tried to keep me at the bar last night. What time is it? It's like 10 something. Yeah, the whacked up bar. What did you think about yesterday? Well, I went, got up, and I went to work, and was really busy at work. I was talking about the fishing. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about the fishing yesterday, last night? It was interesting. Um, what did you think about that oyster, oyster fish you caught? I think it almost hit me in the head. You the one that's reeling it up like a crazy person. I didn't know what it was. I wasn't sure if I had it or not. And technically I did it. It was hooked in the fin. Oh, it was hooked. It wasn't going nowhere. Well. Yeah, she straight she straight gut checked this oyster fish. And uh I guess it went for her bait and she just, you know, went to set the hook and caught it right in the side. Luckily he we got the hook out and it he made it. It came up so. and hit the pier and flied up and about hit me in the head. All right, well, hopefully next time you see us, we'll be on the beach or on the pier or somewhere doing some fishing, hopefully. Hopefully the, uh, the weather clears up for us enough to do some fishing today. So, yeah, we'll see you there. None of that can be put on YouTube or it's going to get flagged. Well. So I have to redo it, I guess. Well. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> I'm just, you know, getting my license for today. We definitely haven't already recorded this one time and the music was playing and we didn't realize it. So I'm definitely not having to record it again, for sure. Yeah, that's definitely not what happened. <laughs> but no, we gotta get, I got, I'm doing my license while they're up there getting shrimp. We're going to a new location that we did last night. We're actually at the location we came to last night. What is this location called? This is the marina in Grand Isle. Yes. This is the Hardgrove Marina, I guess. I'm not sure. Can't say the name anymore. Anyways, this next place we're going is apparently some kind of beach we can drive up on and we're going to try and fish it for a little while. And they're in there getting live shrimp right now. So, and I'm doing my stupid license thing. Um, I'm doing my stupid overly expensive license. And by overly expensive, I mean that for one day, apparently here in Louisiana, something on the lens there, there we go. Here in Louisiana, it's $20 to go for a day, basically, which is insane. Oh, catfish? No, what is, oh, that's a little red, Justin. It sure is. Look at this dive, little red, baby red. Nice. All right, so we are about to head to this next spot. We're in this little, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. The ocean is right over here behind us, past this little like kind of bay area. And this land just has roads that they've built up on it. And it just, the water just winds in and out of it all around. So there's just all kind of places to just drive and try different spots. So, all right, so we, uh, picked up and we were gonna move to a different spot, but we didn't realize that the road that we were on was, we were actually almost at the end of the road. And uh, we were thinking about beach uh, surf fishing some, but as you can see, the uh, it looks pretty bad out there. So we're not gonna try that. We've been fishing on this bay side where these uh, canals and stuff run through. And uh, we caught, uh, Justin caught a little, little redfish about this big. Uh, Amanda actually caught a little croaker um, we had a couple bites we're still taking our bait but i think it was just a little fish and maybe crabs because my buddy he actually got caught two crabs right there at like a little makeshift boat ramp so it may have just been crabs tearing up our shrimp um so right now they're looking up new different places to go and we're gonna see where else there may be for us to go we may end up going back towards the pier that we were on last night could maybe try that but yeah we're just kind of playing it by ear right now so we'll see how it goes All right, guys, so yeah, assuming you can even hear me, we're going to try to do a little bit of pier 
uh, ocean side fishing. White caps are pretty bad, so it's probably going to be pretty rough. We got some pretty heavy weights, but we're just going to put some heavy weights on the line, cast out, and hope that the weights are heavy enough to hold the bait in one spot. But we won't really know until we try. So we're going to try that. But if that doesn't work out, we're going to end up going back across the bay side. There's another pier. And we're going to uh, fish there. And hopefully we'll catch something. See you there. pretty solid trip for the first time coming down here and literally just fishing from you know the public banks I mean that's what we were limited to basically is the public areas that we could fish from land uh, this is definitely a place that if you come you either want to like have a boat have a camp down here be able to get a charter I feel like then you can really catch a bunch of fish because there is a lot of fish just from the there's obviously a lot of fish down here just from the fact that everywhere we went and fished we caught something you know it wasn't nothing big or huge but we caught some form of life so there's fish all around grand isle and the only negative to grand isle is you know once you get done fishing there's not much to do there's not a whole lot yeah, one left quarter mile turn fishing. left so if you come down here make sure you come down here to fish and fish from sun up to sundown amanda what do you think about it there wasn't much to do other than fish, so there was like no swimming pools or uh, restaurants really. Yeah. We had a few hole in the wall, ba hole in the wall bars, but. Yeah. No, I mean, that's what I was like. Uh, so yeah, you pretty much agree. It's like it's good for fishing. Yeah. Especially if you can get on a boat or something. Yeah. Like even like just finding a place to eat, you know, stuff like that. It's just there's not. A lot of home cooked stuff, which the food wasn't bad. I'm not saying like the breakfast that we got and everything was good, it's not terrible, but it's just not, it's not, it's not, it's definitely less of a touristy kind of place to go, yeah, for sure. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing when it comes to like if you're looking for a good place to fish. I mean, that's kind of what you want, you know, if you're heavy into fishing and you get that, you want to find a place that tourists don't go, like this is a good, this is a less heavily touristy kind of area. People were coming down here to do one thing in this fish. But yeah, that's it for us. We uh, we are making a four hour journey back home. And I'm gonna throw a video together for y'all, put it on uh, YouTube. If you uh, end up enjoying the video, check out some other videos. If you enjoy those, consider subscribing to the channel. Join the Fifth Boat Legion. And uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for us. See you on the next one. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue in his